12 Early Signs of Kidney Disease, What You Need to Know Kidney disease is a silent but potentially devastating condition that often goes unnoticed until it reaches an advanced stage. In this video, we're going to explore what kidney disease is, the consequences it can have on your health, and the hidden risks you should be aware of. Kidney disease, also known as renal disease, refers to the gradual loss of kidney function over time. Your kidneys are responsible for filtering waste and excess fluids from your blood, maintaining a healthy balance of electrolytes, and regulating blood pressure. When your kidneys are compromised, it can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, anemia, and even kidney failure, necessitating dialysis or transplantation. Understanding these consequences is vital to motivate early detection and proactive management of kidney disease. Now, let's talk about the hidden risks that many people overlook. Kidney disease often develops silently, without obvious symptoms. It can be caused by a variety of factors, including genetics, high blood pressure, diabetes, and certain medications. These hidden risks may increase your likelihood of developing kidney disease without you even knowing it. All right, let's jump in with sign number one is urination. When our kidneys start to falter, one of the earliest and most noticeable signs is a change in urination patterns. Specifically, you might find yourself needing to go more often, especially at night, where you might find it's less frequent than usual. Additionally, the color of your urine can shift, it might become paler or darker or even take on a pink or red hue if blood is present. Moreover, your urine might appear frothy, a telltale sign that protein, termed proteinuria, is present. Sometimes, there's also a sensation of pressure or discomfort when urinating, which can occur if you're straining more than usual. These alterations usually stem from the kidney's reduced efficiency in filtering and removing fluids and waste from the body. For instance, urinary tract infections, UTIs, can cause painful urination and changes in urine color. Meanwhile, blood clots or abnormal cells in the kidneys or ureters can introduce blood into the urine. Glomerulonephritis, inflammation of the kidney's filtering units, can lead to protein spilling into the urine. With chronic kidney disease, as kidney function declines over time, there can be an increase or decrease in the frequency of urination and changes in the color and presence of foam in the urine. Lastly, kidney stones can also be a culprit behind painful urination and changes in urination patterns. Sign number two is edema or swelling. Edema or the medical term for swelling, is a distinctive sign signaling that your kidneys may be in distress. This condition arises when your kidneys, compromised in their functionality, fail to maintain the delicate balance of fluids and salts within your body, leading to their accumulation. Typically, this results in noticeable swelling that can be seen in the lower extremities such as the feet, ankles, and legs and can sometimes extend to the hands and even the face. The severity of the swelling can vary. It can be just a slight puffiness or severe enough to impede the fitting of shoes or movement of joints. For instance, damage to the kidney's filtering units can cause substantial amounts of protein, particularly albumin, to leak into the urine, a condition known as albuminuria. Albumin plays a pivotal role in retaining fluid in the bloodstream. Its loss results in fluid leaking into body tissues, manifesting as swelling. Moreover, as kidney function declines, seen often in later stages of chronic kidney disease or an acute kidney failure, the kidneys cannot adequately remove excess fluid, further exacerbating the swelling. Furthermore, when the kidneys falter in their function, as seen in nephrotic syndrome, a condition marked by high levels of protein in the urine, low levels of protein in the blood, and elevated cholesterol levels, the risk of significant edema increases. 
While kidney-related issues are a common cause of edema, it is noteworthy that other health conditions, such as heart failure, liver disease, and chronic venous insufficiency, can also contribute to this symptom. Hence, persistent swelling should prompt an evaluation by a healthcare provider to pinpoint the exact cause and to secure the most effective treatment. Sign number three is difficulty breathing. Difficulty breathing, medically known as dyspnea, is an alarming symptom often linked to advanced kidney disease. This unsettling sensation ranges from a mild discomfort with deep breaths to an intense feeling of suffocation, which can be particularly distressing when experienced at rest or in previously effortless tasks like walking upstairs. In kidney disease, dyspnea usually stems from a buildup of fluids in the body due to the kidney's decreased ability to manage fluid balance. Consequently, this excess fluid can accumulate in the lungs a condition referred to as pulmonary edema, impeding efficient oxygen exchange and manifesting as shortness of breath. Furthermore, the impaired function of diseased kidneys often leads to anemia, where the number of oxygen-carrying red blood cells is insufficient, exacerbating feelings of breathlessness. Additionally, the accumulation of waste products in the blood, a condition known as uremia, can directly affect the respiratory system, contributing further to respiratory distress. Complicating matters, kidney disease is frequently accompanied by other health issues such as hypertension and diabetes, which can independently compromise heart and lung function, thus intensifying the experience of dyspnea. Given these interrelated causes, Dyspnea should be recognized as a sign of potentially serious underlying health problems, necessitating immediate medical evaluation. Sign number four is feeling of coldness. The persistent feeling of coldness, often referred to as renal chills, can be a subtle yet disconcerting symptom of kidney disease that is easy to dismiss as insignificant. Those afflicted by this condition experience an ongoing chill that doesn't correlate with environmental conditions, and no amount of layering or warming up seems to alleviate the discomfort. This continuous cold sensation is particularly telling because it is not merely a response to the external temperature but rather an internal state influenced by the health of the kidneys. Anemia stands as a primary culprit behind this symptom, a frequent consequence of kidney dysfunction. With fewer red blood cells to transport oxygen throughout the body, the overall body temperature can drop, resulting in a persistent chill. Additionally, the kidney's compromised ability to filter the blood can lead to an accumulation of toxins which can disrupt normal metabolic processes, further decreasing body temperature. Moreover, the kidney's impaired functionality affects their ability to produce sufficient amounts of erythropoietin, EPO, the hormone that signals the bone marrow to generate red blood cells. When EPO levels fall due to kidney disease, red blood cell production declines, exacerbating the anemic condition and reinforcing the persistent cold feeling. Sign number five is metallic taste. Experiencing a persistent metallic taste in the mouth or having breath with an unusual odor can be a disconcerting symptom that often goes unnoticed, yet it may signal underlying kidney disease. This symptom is not only bothersome, affecting the palatability of food and leading to a decreased appetite, but it is also indicative of a compromised renal function. When kidneys are unable to effectively filter waste, substances like urea accumulate in the bloodstream and can break down into ammonia in the saliva, causing a foul taste or smell. Furthermore, this metallic taste and altered breath can also be a side effect of the body's altered chemistry due to waste products affecting the function of taste buds and changing the composition of saliva. Complicating matters, certain medications and supplements used to treat kidney issues, such as iron supplements, can contribute to or exacerbate this metallic taste. This troubling sign is a clear indication that the kidneys are struggling with their critical role in eliminating waste, 
emphasizing the intricate relationship between renal health and seemingly unrelated symptoms such as taste alterations. Sign number six is rashes and itching. Rashes and itching can emerge as particularly troubling symptoms for those suffering from kidney disease, often manifesting as dry, irritated patches of skin or as an extensive rash, with the itchiness sometimes intensifying during the night. These dermatological issues are not merely superficial, they are the skin's reaction to the internal environment created by failing kidneys. As the kidney's ability to filter waste from the blood diminishes, substances such as urea accumulate and can convert to ammonia on the skin's surface, leading to irritation and severe itching, a condition known as uremic pruritus. Furthermore, the struggle with itchy skin is exacerbated by an imbalance of minerals, specifically phosphorus, which the ailing kidneys can no longer effectively eliminate, causing it to build up in the body and affect the skin. The imbalance of calcium and phosphorus, alongside secondary hyperparathyroidism, a frequent accompaniment to kidney disease, causes levels of parathyroid hormone to soar disrupting mineral balance even further and contributing to the skin's distress. Thus, the presence of rashes and persistent itching is a clear signal from the body, indicative of the systemic nature of kidney disease. Sign number seven is headaches. Headaches and diminished concentration are symptoms that can be surprisingly linked to kidney disease. Those who suffer from this disease might experience persistent headaches that are not relieved by typical measures and are often coupled with a pervading sense of fatigue. Moreover, these individuals may notice a worrying decline in cognitive functions, manifesting as difficulties with focusing, memory gaps, and an overall mental cloudiness, which are particularly concerning symptoms. The root of these neurological symptoms can often be traced back to the retention of toxins in the bloodstream, a dire consequence of failing kidney filtration. As these toxins, like urea, accumulate, they begin to exert detrimental effects on brain function, which may present as both headaches and problems with concentration, a condition referred to as uremic encephalopathy. In addition, the compromised kidneys can cause elevated blood pressure, further contributing to headaches as the pressure impacts cerebral blood vessels. This correlation between declining kidney function and neurological health is a stark reminder of the extensive role kidneys play in maintaining our body's equilibrium. The brain's health is intricately linked to the internal milieu, and as the kidneys falter in their detoxifying duties, the neurological repercussions become more apparent. The last sign is decreased appetite and weight loss. Decreased appetite and weight loss are often reported by individuals with kidney disease, manifesting as a disinterest in food and a noticeable decline in the usual pleasure derived from eating. Consequently, this leads to a decrease in calorie intake which, over time, may result in a gradual and sometimes significant weight loss. Notably, this symptom complex might be compounded by other gastrointestinal disturbances such as nausea or a persistent metallic taste, further discouraging food consumption. The underlying causes of these symptoms are multifaceted, with a primary factor being the buildup of toxins in the bloodstream due to inadequate filtration by the damaged kidneys. These toxins can disrupt metabolism and dull the brain's hunger signals, leading to a decreased desire to eat. Compounding this, chronic inflammation and hormonal imbalances associated with kidney disease alter the regulation of appetite-controlling hormones, such as leptin and ghrelin, exacerbating the problem. Furthermore, the chronic nature of kidney disease often puts the body into a catabolic state where it begins to consume its own protein stores, including muscle. For energy, this process contributes to muscle wasting and further weight loss. Recognizing and managing these signs are vital steps in the care of kidney disease patients, 
as maintaining proper nutrition is integral to preserving patients' strength and health and slowing disease progression. Nutritional interventions, carefully tailored to meet the specific needs of those with kidney disease, are essential to ensure that you are receiving a balanced intake of calories, vitamins, and minerals to support your overall well-being. To learn more about this topic, please like the video and subscribe to my Healthy Care channel. I want to express my gratitude once again for your viewership and support in watching this video today. I send my best wishes for you to always be safe, prosperous, and happy.